Okay, this sermon's entitled, Why Final Call Set 07 is Going to Hell. And I know what you're, you're thinking, I mean, how can you say that? I can say it because the Bible says it. Let me open with prayer, then with a few verses. All right, dear God, thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon. I just pray that you'll allow me to explain, using your word, why this man, who's a false prophet, is going to hell when he dies. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, let's, let me open up with Galatians chapter 3. Galatians chapter 3 makes it very clear on what a person has to do to be saved. Now, this guy, Final Call 07, has put a video up called Save Yourselves. Well, the last time I checked, you know, in reading the Bible, you can't save yourself. And people that are trying to are blinded to the truth. And I'm going to show, I'm going to show you what the Bible says about this. But Galatians chapter t uh, 3, it reads, start with verse um, 20. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but God is one. Is the law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteousness should have been by that law. Now, he's, this guy is saying you've got to obey the law. You've got to stop sinning. He likes to use the word repent. Well, what he's saying is that, what the Bible's saying is that if, 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 if doing that, if obeying the law, if stopping your sins could save you, you know, basically Christ died in vain, that's found in, in, in chapter 2 of verse one, um, 20, one, excuse me, verse 21, which says, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. All the law is, is just, you know, <clears throat> turning away from your sins, or doing good works or whatever, but you know, that's not going to save anyone. And verse 22 explains why. But the scripture hath concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up, sh okay, shut up unto the faith, which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster, to bring us unto Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after that faith is, co is, is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Stop right there. Now, he said many times in his videos, this final call heretic has said many times that faith is not enough. Faith alone is not enough. According to the Bible, it is enough. Now, turn to Ephesians chapter 5. We don't save ourselves. Christ, you know, saves us. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Now, that just means he gave his, self, he gave his life for us so that we could have the eternal life. So that this whole save yourself theory is a bunch of a bunch of nonsense. And let me go over the Bible in the book of Romans and show you an example of some people that were trying to save themselves. And let's just see if the Bible says they got saved or not. Romans chapter 9, in verse 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness. And they were trying to, to be righteous by their own works, by their own deeds, by following the law. But look what it says. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. What the Bible is saying there is that no matter how hard you try to be saved by your own works, by your own merits, by your own, you know, repentance and all this mess, it, you can't do it. Okay? Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. So you got two categories, faith or works. Final call 70, 07 or whatever says it's by works. He's going to hell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you. The Bible bears this out, you know, it bears it out clearly and painstakingly. Okay? For they stumble at the stumbling stone. Anyone who's trying to be justified by works is going to stumble. As it is written, Behold, I lay in Sion a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Now, <clears throat> turn to John chapter 14. John chapter 14. <clears throat> I'm putting this sermon up on YouTube to, to warn people about this false teaching liar who, who's going to drop into hell when he dies, and I'm going I'm, I'm to keep proving that. I'm, I'm, you know, let's just, okay, look at verse 6. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Now this man says you can't keep on sinning. You can't sin and be saved. Well, then he must think he doesn't sin. Okay, now turn to 1 John. We just, we, we, we already did. We read there, if you're, if you're reading along, that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Now, if a person thinks they don't sin like this, God, like this heretic does, 
this final call heretic, that he obviously doesn't, he does not have the truth in him. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth, Jesus Christ is the truth, is not in us. Now look at verse 10. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. The Bible tells me that if you're saved, Christ is in you. Okay, I can, I can show you that in Colossians. Let me just go ahead and turn there. Now, if you say you don't have any, if you say you don't sin, if you say you don't have any sin, or sins, or whatever, you've got no truth in you. And that's just the way it is. That's what the Bible teaches. Colossians chapter 1, verse 27, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of his mystery among the, the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. But this guy, the final call, does not have Christ inside him because he's lost. And let me explain to you why he's lost. Turn to Romans chapter 4. Another verse that's going to prove this, this man is not saved. Now, it's a sad and tragic thing, and you know, I'm, you know, but the Bible makes it clear. Romans chapter 4, now why is he not saved? Because he's not trusting in Christ. He's not trusting in Christ alone. He's added stuff, something to it. And he, he's, he's a false teaching deceiver. He's a wolf out there trying to deceive everybody. And Satan is behind this whole, all this mess. Satan's behind every last bit of it. The video entitled, Save Yourself. He doesn't, you can't save yourself. Okay? Now, if you turn to Romans chapter 4 and look at verse... <clears throat> 15, it explains what's going to happen to this for this, this final call guy. He, he's all about you know works. He's all about obeying the law. Look what the Bible says he has. Because the law... Hang on, let me grab this call. Hang on one second. Alright, now, look at Romans chapter 4 verse 15. Before I read it, uh, I would like to explain what a work salvationist is trying to do. They're trying to make you feel like your works are going to get you salvation. But that's just the opposite of what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches we're saved by grace. So anyone who's trying to work for their salvation, look what the Bible says they have. But the law worketh wrath. See? Obeying the law, turning from your sins, living a good life, it works wrath. Okay? That's what it says. For where no law is, there is no transgression. Therefore, now he's explaining there how to get saved. Therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end. The promise, is, which the promise is eternal life, by the way, might be sure, in other words, certain, to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. See that? In verse 15, he's saying, working, working for your salvation, is it, it, all you have is wrath. So you gotta, you got to accept it by faith, and by, by grace through faith. That's what he's saying there. <clears throat> Okay, now let's turn to Romans chapter 11, and I'm going to explain why this final call does not understand the simple gospel, why he can't get faith alone, why he doesn't believe it. I'm explain. I'm going to show you. I have no problem with it. A lot of the people that listen to my uh, YouTube videos have no problem with faith alone. It's because they're saved, because their Holy Spirit's inside them saying, yeah, this is good. This is what the Bible teaches. But a person who does not believe it, it's by faith alone, they're blind. And I'm going to prove that. I say then, hath God cast away his people, God forbid, for I also am an Israelite, of the seed of, of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God hath not cast away his people which he foreknew. Wot ye not what the scripture saith of Eli Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, <clears throat> And I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men, who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So that's the one thing you never hear when you listen to this guy's videos. Anything about grace? Nothing. And if they do say anything about it, it's you're just turning it into lasciviousness. That's all, they have. That's all a false teacher has to say about grace anyway. They don't understand that we're saved by grace. They, they, just, they just want to try to get around it. It's, it's sad and it's tragic. Now look, he's going to go on to say, now what, how, what is grace? Well, grace is the unmerited favor of God. It's, it's a free gift. It's, 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 it exemplifies the love of God. 
And it's something that cannot be mixed with mixed in with any works. You cannot add works to it. If you add one work to grace, you just destroyed grace. If you add repenting of your sins to grace, you just destroyed grace. If you add turning from sins, getting the sin out of your life, stop sinning anything. Any any one of those. You know, live the good life, be righteous, be good, be moral. See, the problem with this garbage is, you know, our righteousness is our as filthy rags. I don't care how righteous a person is. I don't care how good they are. I don't care how many sins they repent of. It doesn't matter because it's still not good enough. Now, let me, let's, 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 let's keep reading here. And if by grace, okay, salvation's by grace. So it can't be by works. If by grace, then it is no more work, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. See, see how clear that is? If it's grace plus works, it's not grace. Okay? But if it be of works, then it, it, it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. What he's saying is that they just cancel each other out. They're like oil and water. They, they, they don't mix. Now look at this next verse. This proves that a work salvationist, this final call, is blind and he's not saved. What then? Israel hath not, now look at these key words, hath not obtained that which he seeketh for. You know, trying to do the good works, trying to strive, you know, strive to enter in, they, they say. And they usually take that verse out of context. That verse in Luke, you got to strive to enter in. You got to do the good works. You got to live the straight and narrow. No, it, it says you, you guys that are doing, trying to do that, trying to have salvation that way, it says, you know, let me read it again. Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it. And the rest, who's the rest? Who's the rest? Work salvation people, Israel, Jews, people that were trying to work for it. The rest were blinded. <clears throat> According as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. You're not going to be able to convince a work salvation of somebody that's gone this far into apostasy. You're not going to be able to convince them it's by, it's by faith alone. You're not going to be able to convince them it's by grace. They can't hear it. They can't see it. Now, they can still believe on Christ, and they can still... <clears throat> You just wake up and realize what they're doing, but you know when you try to convince them, you just you just you know you're just they're just blind. They can't they cannot hear it. Now I don't. There are people out there that came out of this mess. It's by the grace of God. I don't even know how 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 that happened. Evidently, they just realized that the Bible does not teach what they believed. You know, lordship salvation, work salvation. And there are people everywhere that have come out of this mess, but you know what? They they have to want to. See, the reason why this guy is blind is because he wants to be blind. A false teacher wants to be blind because they want to deceive people. They want to condemn people. They want to give people no hope. They want to take away a person's assurance. They want to make a person feel like they can't be saved. They're a Pharisee. They're a wolf. You know, they're damned. They're doomed. They're working for Satan. This, this final call, 07, is, is a child of the devil. And he, I think he knows that. And Satan is, get, and Satan is very, very good at, at getting people to twist the verses out of context to make make you feel like you're not really saved unless you're not you know unless you're turned from all your sins or whatever it's just a bunch of nonsensical garbage is what it is and the Bible makes it very clear therefore we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law but see a blind person a false teacher can't see that they don't they don't want they just avoid it because they want to boast see think about it this final call guy is gonna have to be he's gonna boast about how he lives I no longer sin. I got, you know, and all the, all of them are like that. Well, then where is boasting then? Is it is it is excluded by what law of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. See, there's not going to be any boasting before God when He's the one who who saves us. We don't save ourselves, and that's a, a red flag that this guy is a uh, on his way to hell, and he's a false teacher, and we need to expose him. And that's all I have. Let me close in prayer. God, thank you for allowing me to preach this sermon. We're saved by grace through faith alone in Christ. That's the way it is. I thank you for that truth. And there's so many people out there that don't believe that. They want to take credit for their salvation. And the Bible says they're blind. I just read it. Keep, keep us that believe in on the truth, that believe the free grace gospel. Keep us, you know, at peace. And keep us, you know, growing in, in, your, in your word. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen.